Hello everyone! And welcome to another game of World of Warships. And as you can hear right now, the, the horns in this new Savage Battle game mode are quite funny and you could probably create some music if you paired some different ships. But anyway, before we get into this replay, uh, a little bit of a uh, rant clarification, or however you want to call that. So today was supposed to be a new Project Wrecked video. And unfortunately, Wargaming has destroyed my ability to make a Project Wrecked video today. The thing is that in World of Warships, you used to be able to just keep an old client around and watch old replays, but that functionality has been uh, destroyed by Wargaming uh, like two years ago or something. So these days you can only watch the current version and the last version, because that's something that they still offer, right? You can always watch the current version of replays and the last version. Now, there was a small patch on Monday that reintroduced submarines and Wargaming counted as a full version. So the last version is now not actually the last version, but, you know, like the current version. <laughs> So, uh, long story short, basically most of the replays that were intended for Project Wrecked I hadn't recorded yet and now I can't because on Monday Wargaming destroyed my ability to watch those replays that have been so carefully laid aside for this episode. So now I'm lacking the content and I need to delay the week to get us some new replays. So thanks Wargaming, no Project Wrecked this week. Anyway, sorry for this little rant. And I'm here in a Savage Battle game. Now, this is the current uh, special game mode in World of Warships, and it's honestly a lot of fun. The rewards suck. Why? You know, that's typically Wargaming. They make a fun game mode, then they don't want to reward you for it. But honestly, this game mode is... Uh, well, I love it, right? So it's sort of a battle royale. There is, like you see this... Uh, ring of fire there that is shrinking over time and if you're outside of it you take damage so the battlefield shrinks there are just like in arms race uh, pickups that you can collect and those give you consumables the heal ones give you a heal and the other one give you ship consumables and what ship consumables you have depends on the ships now the ships in this game mode are all special ships right i technically would have a smoke screen and a hydro here if i found the consumables for it also, my ship doesn't have guns. Well, the guns count as secondaries, but I can't control them. Now, the ships in this mode are pretty fast, so this ship does about 50 knots. The torpedoes that I have go 125 knots, so... <laughs> As you can see, there is going to be a lot of fun. Now, I haven't been able to do much just yet, but that's fine. Our team here has done pretty well so far. Now, there are four teams of three, as you can see in the top. So it's three versus three versus three versus three. And the well, last team standing wins. You can go there either in a division or just go randomly. So I'm in a two-man division and we've gotten, obviously, a third teammate there. And hey, we've now found some other enemies there. Now, ships handle also pretty well in this game mode, so you can make stops and turns or so that otherwise you wouldn't be able to. So, dodging torpedoes is in that sense a lot easier, but of course the torpedoes do like a hundred and uh, plus knots, so <laughs> there is that. So, it's a bit of a torpedo dodging mode. There we go, I got one. So... Let's keep topping the others. In this game mode, there are three different ships, and well, you can unlock slightly better or different versions of those ships if you play them. So, there is a tier 8, a tier 9, and a tier 10 for the three lines they have. Start with the tier 8s, and if you play them enough, you unlock the higher ones. And I'm currently in the tier 8 mess, which is uh, German for knife. And, oh, shit! <laughs> uh, turns out I'm being sort of flanked. Now I've deployed a smoke screen. I'm hydring right now so I can see them and they can't see me. Oh, well, I'm proximity detected. Although, obviously, I'm only proximity detected for the orange team. The purple here wouldn't be able to see me. 
I'm just launching some talks out there and this is just oh I got one <laughs> now as you can see if you sink somebody you also get a random consumable it's not just looting and now we have arrived at the two versus two so this is gonna be uh, pretty pretty lovely here now the ring is ever shrinking but we are pretty much in the center and there is going to be a heal consumer that's spawning right here so my division mate is dueling uh, this destroyer over there while I'm fighting for this consumable with other enemy. And well, I'm inside the circle and he isn't. Now that's good news because my division mate just took a major hit, but thanks for me looting the heal, he can now heal up again. Now personally I have actually two heals, I just haven't taken that much damage so far. Now there is only like one line of ships I think that has actually usable guns and the others treat the guns as secondaries and have torpedoes. The Karnal, for example, that my mission mate is in, has very short range 4km torpedoes. Also doesn't really have guns, so <laughs> it's it's pretty much a YOLO boat. So let's see, the enemy atomic rage is coming in here, maybe we can catch it. And I need to dodge some torques here, unfortunately. Well, I do have a launcher here ready. Can I get this lancet? No, it's already pre-turning. Maybe I can get a torp into it, though. So far, I mean, both divisions here have a rather healthy and a rather unhealthy destroyer, I suppose. Torpedoes astern. Let's see, maybe we can get this atomic range. He is reverse, of course, as I said, those ships handle pretty nicely, so he could immediately beat up again. The atomic range is a ship with guns, so he could finish up off a low health destroyer easily, I guess. But we got him. Now, my division maybe is on very low health, and even those ships that don't have guns have at least, you know, secondaries, I suppose. I'm not sure if my division mate will live long enough for me to grab this heal. I'm gonna try it. Of course, if he could just... Oh. No, they got him. Now, if he could just get that lancet here, that would be nice. But unfortunately, it's behind the tower right now. So, I still have two heals. I just don't have my use for it. But most importantly, I need to grab the heal so the other guy doesn't get it. <laughs> so, there we go. Also, those heals might come in handy. I think at a certain point, this ring will just shrink even more. And, you know, that might help me survive if I have more heals there. So, ah, yes, I got a drop into it. But as we've established, you know, my main guns are, well, they are secondary, right? And they aren't doing very well. <laughs> like, the, the secondaries on the ship suck. But as you can see, oh, I almost dodged. Because, you know, the... Uh, Maneuverability of those ships is pretty neat. And I do still have those heals, so taking that one hit wasn't that big of a deal. But we are basically both now trying to play around cover here. Not wanting to commit. And oh, is the enemy now committing? Now I still have that cover here in front of me. And the thing of course is with this small ring, your uh, options to maneuver are pretty limited. <laughs> So, this is rather exciting, I guess. Now, I do have some solid cover here right next to me. Of course, he's a little bit more central, I suppose, with the ring. But, can I get him? Is he going to... No, he's slowing down again. Yeah, okay, he's reversing. I was hoping he'd go a little bit faster there. The, the good news is my torps reload relatively quickly. Okay, he, and I don't have both launchers synced up, which Torpedo means... Support. He doesn't have, like, if I launch both at the Torpedo same time, support. it would give him the perfect opportunity to rush me. But like this, I got him. <laughs> So yeah, this was a savage battle. So I'm terribly sorry again that there is no project Act this week. I should have enough content for one again next week, hopefully, before gaming doesn't screw me over again. And uh, yeah, uh, I really enjoyed this game mode. The rewards are shit, but the game mode is hilarious. 
and I encourage you to try it out and have some fun in it. So there is that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I'll see you next time.